Good morning, good morning, my brothers. This is day four. We are on day four. Isn't that something? It's already the fourth day in to taking 10 to be before God. Again, want to thank you, brothers, for coming on and, and not just coming on, but being a part of the group. I am so honored that you guys would do that. And not just for me, but just to give God 10 minutes of your time. Now, you, got, you guys are always welcome to do more, which I'm sure most of you brothers are. But 10 minutes, it, the process starts with something. The Bible says that we should be faithful in that which is least. And then he'll make us rulers over the much. Being faithful in, in, in what you've been in what you've been assigned or what you said you wanted to do. You know, our word is our bond, pretty much. You know, we 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 make sure that what we say, let your yea be your yea, your nay be your nay. That's a that is a fundamental principle and a foundation for men that we should be men of our and men of our word, especially men of God, that we should be men of our word. That God honors that. God will honor your 10 minutes. God will honor whatever you're able to present to him in holiness and in fullness. He's going to reward you for that. And I just want to encourage you guys on this morning to keep on going, keep on going, keep on going, man. It's day four. Don't get tired. Don't get weary. I know life happens to us all. There's all things going on, especially during this time. There's plenty of distractions for all that all of us encounter on a daily basis. I just want to encourage you guys to press, to keep pressing forward and to keep seeking God. And so I just greet you on this morning in Jesus joy and just thanking you guys again. Man, this is the day that the Lord has made. I'm so excited because we don't have to be a part of this day. God could have we could you know, we could have been been dead. We could we could be doing any. We could be somewhere else, man. We could not be a part of this thing. And I just thank it and count it all joy that God has woken us up this morning. He has the, the loud blood running warm in our veins, man. To just have the activity of our limbs to just be able to to, to just stand before Him and just be in His presence on today, because that's an honor within. That's a great deal within itself. So I'm grateful. I'm thankful, man, that God chose me, and I'm thankful that He chose you guys. And that you guys have uh, accepted the, the call upon um, for God to, to do some wonderful things because we have to participate in the things of God. We just can't be spectators. We have to actively be a part of our lives and actually be a part of our deliverance, our salvation, our, our holiness, our, our, our prosperity. We have to be participants in that. We have to be able to be able to, to be willing participants to be able to say, OK, God, I'm all in. You can you can count on me. I'm going to do my part. And I thank God for that. And I thank God that you guys have accepted that challenge to be to take Tim with to Pastor V to be before God. That tells me and that tells God that you're all in. You're ready. You're ready. And again, it's not going to be it's not going to be easy because the Bible tells us that when the word is sown, that the enemy comes immediately to try to take that and try to steal what was already sown in your hearts and in your spirit. He tries. He tries it. He tries to take away what was already placed in you and try to distort what God has promised you and told you about yourselves. So I thank God for that. Listen, Psalms 89, man, we, and, and Psalms is good. You can all, you should always have a Psalm and, and, and read a Psalm to, to encourage yourself, to, 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 to be joyful and always thankful. 89 and, and 14 says the righteous and justice are the foundation of your, thr of, of your throne. Talking about God, faithful and love and truth be before you. It go faithful and faith and truth and faithfulness and truth will always go before us. So whatever is going on in your life and things that are going on, faithfulness and truth will always go before you, man. That's a wonderful thing to know. And so let's get on in. Um, I was, as, as, as I'm sure most of you guys are reading, I wish you guys be on chapter four. But if you haven't gotten in, you got a late start. That's fine. Jump in when you jump in. We'll we'll be here. We got another. We, we still have. Um, we got the to, the to the end of um August. We had the rest of the 31 days of August to 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 read and to to get into the book of Proverbs again. Like I always I've been saying, Proverbs is a book of wisdom. Proverbs is a great book for us because it helps us. Whatever we're struggling in our relationships, our you know whatever's going on on the job, our you know our children, you know whatever's going on, the Word of God is always available to help us and to strengthen us. The, we have to make sure that we're, like I said earlier, we have to be participants in our life. The word of God is not automatically going to change our lives. It has the power to change your life, but it's not automatic. You have to do your part, man. We have to do our part. 
We have to get in the word of God. We have to be before and be in God's face. We have to be praying. We have to be seeking the spirit of God like never before. Things that we may know to be right may not be right because the Bible tells us there's a way to seem of right unto a man. But the end of that is the death is death and destruction. We have to make sure that we are in, in line with the word of God as it relates to our families, our children, our, 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 our call, whatever, whatever we believe in God for. We have to make sure that we are doing our part. And that's in conjunction with the word. We have the word has to be a part of our life. We cannot live this life exclusively outside of the word. There's no way. And so in um in chapter four, it um it tells us in verse five, I'm, I'm at for at verse five, and as you guys have noticed, I kind of don't I don't read I don't read the entire um, chapter, but I, I take I take um snippets of it so we can and we can kind of share together. It says, get wisdom, get understanding. Don't forget or turn away from the words from my mouth. Don't abandon wisdom. And she, wisdom, will watch over you. Love her and she will guard you. Wisdom is supreme. So get wisdom and whatever else you get, get understanding. So don't just don't just run through the scriptures. Seek to get understanding about that which you read, man. I know I'm I know I'm preaching to the choir on a lot of these because I know most of you guys know that. I just want to encourage you guys that if 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 to to let's hone in on the word of God and let's seek to get understanding. Because like I mentioned, there's always something new that we can learn in the word. We can see things a thousand times, but if you know we have our our, our spiritual eyes open to 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 hear now eyes our ears open to hear God and to receive revelation from the word of God, something will be read, something you will read will probably change your life because you're like, wow, I didn't see that the first time or it says something to you. It doesn't change the word. It just gives you another perspective on what the word is actually saying. And so I'm excited for you, brothers. I, I, again, I appreciate you guys for joining and, and, and getting on with me and being a part of the, um, the Taking 10. Again, brothers, um, if you want to join a group, We've opened it back up. There's no timeline now. We've taken the timeline off. You guys know brothers who want to be a part of the group. You can tell them um, to, to come in and um, sign up to be a part of the group. Uh, again, man, love you guys on today. Pray that you guys have an awesome day. It may be raining outside, but it's joy in our hearts, man, and it's joy towards what God is going to do, man. We thank God for this time because every time we have to stand before each other and stand before God, man, there's an awesome time for great victory. Change the certain change your circumstances. Change you. You guys have the power to change this the group that you are around and minister grace and peace to them. Man, that people may need to be saved, delivered, set free. You just man, there's so many people out here that are bound, and the enemy has their minds and their, their lives in captivity. But man, we have been signed, we have been assigned, and we've been commissioned to go out and minister to people. We are to seek and to save that which are lost, man. That's our job. And so we have to equip ourselves to do the work of the Lord. Amen. And so this is now a time to refresh ourselves. We've been a, we've been away. A lot of us have been away from our jobs and been away from just the normal, what would be norm to us in terms of working and running around. We've been isolated in a sense. Man, listen, no more wasted time, right, man? We're going to get about our father's business. So I thank you guys for just tuning in to, to um, this morning or this afternoon or this evening. Whenever you listen, I just want to encourage your hearts to keep pushing, keep pushing, keep seeking, keep looking to, to tr and, and trusting God to do the, the great in your life. Get in the word. Let's stay. Let's stay consistent with reading um, this the Proverbs. They can, let's stay consistent with giving God 10 minutes, quiet time, meditating in the word, reading, praying, worshiping. Man, let's get involved in our own life. Let's get involved with the plan that God has for us. Let's let God know we're all in on the plan that he has for us. And we know those plans are to prosper us, not to harm us, to give us peace. And we know that we have an expected end in this thing, that, he, that we know that nothing that God does is ever going to be to hurt us. It's going to be to help to grow us and to move us forward in Jesus' name. Amen. So I'm excited for you guys on today. I pray that today will be the best day 
of your life so far. I'm not saying that it's going to be the, 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 the end of the best days, but this is the beginning of the best days of your life. And I thank you guys. So let me pray and I'll, we'll end it out. Father, I thank you again, Father, for this time to fellowship with these brothers. Our Father, I thank you, Father, that hallelujah. I don't know their circumstance, God, but you do, God. You know what's going on in their life, God. You're able to make every crooked place straight in their life, Father. So I thank you for these men right now, Father, these strong men, Father, increase them in strength, increase them in wisdom and knowledge concerning the things of you, Father, that, that we will always seek you first, Father. And then we know that after we seek you, Father, that the rest of the things will be added to our lives, God. So we thank you for a mind and a heart to seek you first, Father, to do what you've called us to do. Glory to God, to be men. After your own heart, Jesus, I thank and praise you right now, Father, that no weapon formed against us will be able to prosper, God. I thank you, Father, that every tongue, Father, that rises up against us will be condemned, Father, in the name of Jesus, God. I thank you, Father, that you're restoring out, you're restoring marriages, Father. You're, hallelujah, strengthening relationships with, with, our, with the children, with, their, with our children, God. You are you're giving, it's digging, and you're looking to promote us, Father. Hallelujah. I thank you, Father, that every need, every desire, of our hearts will be met because we'll set ourselves to be before you, God, to seek you, Father, to seek your approval, Father, to move as you called us and called us and, and told us to move, Father, that we don't jump ahead of you, Father, but we move with you, Father, in the name of Jesus, concerning our life. And God, we thank you right now. And we remind the enemy of his permanent place and position, Father. He's a defeated foe. He has no power, no victory over our life. And so we bind the devil right now. We place him under our feet in Jesus' name. And God, we thank you that we are victorious and we will live out our lives, Father, to give you glory, honor, and praise. And you will be glorified in us, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. So brothers, go forth and have a great day. Love you much. I'll see you on tomorrow. Oh, oh and also, um, before I go, good, thank you, Holy Spirit. Remember, I didn't say it, so don't remember. But remember now, Saturday, we're looking to go live just to kind of meet and, and, and fellowship with one another. I want to go live on, around 10 o'clock on, on, on Saturday to kind of just share with you guys. But more information about the times will follow. We'll send something out. Not sure the time yet. But again, want to just kind of touch bases and fellowship with you guys on Saturday just for a little while. Those brothers who I don't know, those brothers who I do know, just want to kind of make the connection. And again, if we have questions, if we have something we want to share with one another, man, now, you know, we will we'll set aside some time to do it. So just encourage you guys, man, keep pressing forward. Keep doing the will of God. man. Love you much.